Good evening, folks. This is Red Wing Matt coming to you with another bedtime story. And here we are. It's April Fool's Day. <laughs> but this is not a fool joke. This is really, or fool story or joke. Mm -hmm. This really happened. And this is what was normal for me. Uh, the first time I came into the neighborhood at uh, Grand and Ogden alone, uh, it was late at night. And I was going to the rear building of 613 Machine, where uh, Johnny Rogers was at, Dick Hoyt, and some other people. But anyway, <clears throat> it was late in the evening, and as I was driving along uh, back through the alley that went back there, to the right was Wagon Master, Jimmy Kozel's uh, enterprise. <laughs> at any rate, uh, that was a union job, Teamsters. But uh, at any rate, while I was going back, there's some a car pulled up behind me and a car pulled up in front of me and some young men got out with baseball bats and they were, I don't know, trying to look around the neighborhood, keep people that weren't, didn't belong in the neighborhood out of the neighborhood. But that's kind of the way it was. And later on as everybody got to know me in the neighborhood, nobody stopped me or bothered me. They would wave to me and say hi to me, that's all. I very seldom went into the neighborhood. I mean, it was like maybe once a month or something like that. But everybody got to know me pretty good. And eventually, uh, as you know, maybe or maybe not, uh, coming up uh, through the years, I got to know a lot of made guys. And it wasn't by, it wasn't like I reached out for them or tried to reach them. They tried to reach me in some ways. And in other ways, it was because it was a social event or something like that. Um, the Grand Avenue crew was the most powerful crew. And if you look back at uh, going back to Milwaukee Phil, going back to some of the other people, it was a different crew. I mean, those people were, they kind of had a license to go anywhere. I mean, uh, I remember when uh, Vince Solano used to go into uh, see Lombardo. <clears throat> Enjoy the bar of jail. But anyway, uh, as we go on, I want to give a message to you folks. Uh, it seems like we're all going through hard times right now. Our whole country's a mess. Uh, everybody that I talk to, like Tim, uh, who just had surgery. Uh, Tim, your book's on the way, by the way. It's good. It'll be out to you. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely uh, send you an email or uh, notice of the tracking number. But uh, he's out in Vegas. <laughs> anyway, uh, the truth of the matter is, uh, I always had the saying, you never go back. You always go forward, you never go back. Well, I think it's time we did go back. We go back to some of the old ways, and we start helping each other. We start being closer knit. We start taking care of each other. We watch out for each other's needs. Because we're going down the toilet, guys. It really, it really is that way. We better start caring about each other. And that's the way it was back in the 50s and the 60s. People cared about each other. Even the mom never learned, the outfit never learned that they should go by the old ways. Look at Ricardo. Look how sharp he was. He lived a good life. And he lived a long life. So, that's my message today. And... Uh, I hope it gets out to you. If it doesn't, uh, I tried. <laughs> anyway, April Fools. <laughs> God bless y'all. Bye now.